Our daughter was born without legs and ears. This is all she does all day long. Just back and forth, back and forth. Amaya is only two years old and has had seven surgeries. Three of those were just in the first six weeks of her life. <laughs> it's okay. You don't like it? Okay. You don't have to. We've taught Amaya how to crawl around on her arms and use sign language to communicate, but she doesn't need us. She's a fighter. We could be sitting at home, you know, sad and crying about it because she is born different, but we wouldn't have her any other way. Hi. Wait, say hi, Mommy. Good morning. Here. Amaya was born with caudal regression syndrome that affects the lower part of the spine and spinal cord, so that's the reason for her not having legs. She had cleft palate, she has a tethered spinal cord, small kidneys, small bladder, and she was also born with microtia, so her outer ears are malformed and she doesn't have open ear canals, so she is hard of hearing and she wears a hearing aid. We use spoken English to communicate with her, but we also use sign language as well. Amaya, want more? She's like, not interested. Want more sausage? Yeah, we speak to her in a lower tone because that's what she hears more easily without her hearing it on. She can hear like muffled noises. It sounds like she's basically underwater. Like that's how she hears when she doesn't have her hearing aid on. Let her do it. Good job. Come on. You can get a crawl on the mommy. So when and how were you first made aware that Amaya would be born different? So I went for my 20 week anatomy scan and they were like, yeah, no growth at all. Like we don't see legs at all. And so I had a breakdown in the hospital. We were definitely worried when we found out that she was gonna be born with no legs. We didn't know the extent of her condition when, while I was pregnant. So as soon as she was born and we found out, you know, exactly what was going on, we were definitely worried about the future. When she was born, she wasn't breathing. So they were trying to put on a ventilator so she could breathe. And they were having difficulty with that because she had cleft palate. She had a foot that was like attached to her body. And then we had to have that amputated because it was causing a lot of pain. And then when she was six weeks, she had a surgery on her jaw. They place hardware in her jaw to pull her jaw bone forward. So she's able to breathe. That was a big surgery, um, really scary. And then we have one coming up. We are nervous about the spinal cord surgery that she has coming up. It's to release the spinal cord from Amaya's spine. It's kind of a big surgery. It's gonna be a dangerous and really expensive surgery. We do have a GoFundMe um, for Amaya surgery just to kind of help out. We don't know, you know, how long we'll be missing work. It's really difficult to balance everything when we go to surgery. It's just a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money um, involved whenever it comes to Amaya having surgery. And it will hopefully be the last one that we have to have ever. <laughs> this is all she does all day long, just back and forth, back and forth. So Amaya goes to therapy four times a week. She has physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and feeding therapy. Physical therapy, we work on her range of motion and her mobility. The goal is to get her to pull up on top of this and into a sitting position, like as if it were a chair. It's okay. You don't like it? Okay. You don't have to. We're happy with the progress that she's making. We have to be cautious with her because she like knows no limits. She, she'll do whatever she can. She'll climb on anything, under things. So we have to really watch her. All this therapy that we work on every day of the week will help her, you know, grow into an independent person. And I'd love for her to just not have to rely on anyone. I think as she grows and continues to learn, I think she'll be very independent. Amaya. Amaya loves her older sister, Araya. They play like all day together. I fall, you fall. Amaya's different than other kids. She's like unique. At first we didn't know, you know, at the hospital how to let Araya know that her sister didn't have legs. We didn't tell her. Her only question was, are they gonna grow back? Like, no, that's not gonna happen. Her legs aren't gonna grow back. 
I'm definitely gonna be uh, protective of her when she's older and like when she actually gets into school. Araya is very protective over Maya. She talks back to the people in public and I have to tell her like, we don't, we can't do that, you know? Hi, ready? We're gonna see our friend, Sammy at the park. I love Sammy. Let's go. <laughs> so usually when we go, we go to grocery stores, things like that. Kids, you know, they see Amaya and they kind of give a face. Like kids are like, oh, she doesn't have legs because they don't know, you know, like what to say. Most of the time when the parents see her, they just see her hair. So they're like, oh, she has, you know, she has cute hair. But sometimes, you know, you can see their face go from a smile to like, wait, what? Yes. So. Like they see her face and they're like, they'll say it. They'll like comment, oh, she's so cute. And then you see their eyes go down and then they're like, oh. Like, and then end of conversation. I started making TikToks and tried to spread awareness. This is Jalen and my daughter Maya was born without her legs. The response online has been more positive now. When we first started out, they say some crazy stuff. Some of them type out paragraphs this long to tell me how bad of parents we are because we kept her. I wanted to be a support to other women that may be pregnant with a child with a limb difference. I showcase her moving around and getting around and show them that she's not just stuck in one place. Good job. Hey, he's grown yeah. since I've seen him yeah. last. Wait, do Maya. <laughs> you ready to play? Ready to play? If you have a child that's born different, don't let other people get to you. Wow. You know, a lot of people have had things to say about us and it's been difficult. A lot of people see her and think that she's not capable of doing anything just because she doesn't have legs. Hopefully once she gets older, uh, she's able to spread awareness and let other people know that just because she has you know, disabilities, she's still able to do things. Amaya is Amaya and she's gonna do things on her time. I think Amaya couldn't have better parents for her condition. They've overcome milestones that I can't dream of. And I'm sure it was hard to talk about it first to anybody, and it's good to be able to be, you know. There for them Yeah. when we can. Yeah. She's the reason I get up every morning and go to work. We've seen a lot of growth just in ourselves and with her, and we're forever grateful for her. We could be sitting at home, you know, sad and crying about it because she is born different, but we wouldn't have her any other way.